Super Levi 2, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing Lego set 76194. It's called Tony Stark's The Cutting Iron Man, it is 8 plus, and it includes 369 pieces. This is from the Lego Marvel Studios What If line, and it includes three minifigures, and a brand new Tony Stark with a new torso piece, Valkyrie, and The Watcher, which is also exclusive. I'm really excited for the set. It came out yesterday on August 1st, and it currently retails for $35 in America. And now it's time to start building. I finished building the Sakarian Iron Man and I feel like it's really awesome. I like the color scheme and I even like these cool designs on it. So let's just get right into the build. As you can see, each hand has four fingers and the all the limbs can move. So the feet, legs, arms, hands can move and the head hatch can open like this. And then the front can open like that. It can fit one minifigure right here and there's a little control panel for it. And then you can put the hatch down. And in the back there's like this little thing. I don't really know what it is. It kind of looks like solar panels, but there's some wheels here because it can transform into a car. This is the bottom of the feet and it's a really great build. And um, the sh uh, What If show doesn't come out until August 11th. so. Until now, we don't really know why Tony Stark went back, went to Sakaar, but but we can get some information from the set. It looks like he might have gone there on a mission or something, and I'm pretty sure it's what what if Tony Stark didn't like fall back down from New York, like he just kept going and got sucked into the portal in Avengers One. And so I think that's what it's going to be. This is the Tony Stark figure with um, this brand new shirt print. And the back face is kind of like this, it doesn't really make sense. It's just the normal like Iron Man screen face. And then over here is Valkyrie, which is a really cool figure with no back face. It has this hair, a little cape, a sword, and it comes with a bottle. And then for an exclusive figure, we have the Watcher here, who looks really cool. And it's the first time he's getting a Lego figure, I believe. He has this nice blue cape, and this is the back printing. Oops, sorry about that. And then this is his face print, and he has no back expression. Back expression. And now I'm going to be showing you the alternate build, which is the car. And I'll be back transforming the mech into the car. And it is a fairly smooth transformation, as you can see in the instructions right here. Um, basically, what you do is you just take everything apart, and then you just follow the instructions of how to assemble it. And it really isn't that hard because like everything just like clicks together basically. And then you have the car within like five pages. And then here's the completed car. It looks really nice. And as you see, can see, you have like the legs left over and also the hands. But then the car uses most of the pieces. And it's a really nice build. It can fit like probably too many figures if you cram them in. There's the little control panel. And this is actually like the this part of the car right here. And then as you can see it can just like smoothly glide along like so. And it's a really nice uh, build. I actually like the design of the car. It kind of reminds me of that one monkey kid set which was like the cloud racer. The wheels are similar. It just goes like that. And, and I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.